Hi guys, it's it's been a hot minute. Uh, it's May 2nd, so yesterday I was supposed to feed the lemon trees and the roses, but that didn't happen because it just didn't happen. So it's happening today. I actually just finished doing that as well as doing a little bit of pruning and gathering some lavender for my closet because ooh, ooh, we had a bird feather come in the be blown into my face and I was like, ah, what is that? Anyways, yeah, so we have a bit of an update. A lot has happened since you guys last saw the garden. I think it was in February or March, March or February. I'm not 100% sure what day it was or what month it was, but it is now May and we are in full swing. I am very excited to show you guys what's going on. So first new addition we got a third chair for my dad because my mom and i typically sit in the two red ones over there but let's just take a look at what has happened since you guys last saw the garden so obviously the shade is new as well as these new trellises that my mom and i put up together um we just went to tractor supply and got some cattle panels that we cut into four so there's one two three and then the fourth one is all the way over there that I haven't put up yet I'm going to uh, finger in the camera the plan is as of right now to get two more troughs one to go there and then one to go over there and that panel will go into one of those troughs as well as two of the raspberries in that trough are going to get moved there but that is after summer has come and gone but yes a lot has happened so we have now have a watermelon plant let's see is the tag still in here i don't think so it's supposed to, i think it's a sweet sugar melon i'm not 100 percent sure again i think the tag blew away on the last dust storm we had we also now have zucchini which i do have the tag for that is zucchini squash the heirloom black booties Stick, it's a stickler, <laughs> this one. There's three plants in here. Um, the artichoke's having some issues. Uh, we, I've been seeing a lot of people in Maricopa, uh, the Maricopa Gardening Facebook group with their artichokes and I'm a little depressed that mine hasn't done anything yet. I tr I did move it into a pot though, so it might not be happy with me when I moved it from that trough all the way in the back there into this tiny pot. It's probably just going through shock, so I'm hoping next season we'll get some out of there. And we've got the elephant garlic, and as you can see, one of my elephant garlics is missing because I did pull it. Um, my mom thinks that I pulled it a little too soon, but I pulled it anyways, and it's currently curing in my uh, garage. But I think I'm gonna, again, pull this one and start pulling up shallots to eat those. But the little California garlics are just gonna stay in the ground until uh, probably June, July, June. We also, I also got a growing bag for to do potatoes next season. I think I got them a little late. So next season we're gonna try and do potatoes in these bags. But this I think is the other green squash zucchini. I'm not 100% sure. Again, I the tags typically don't stay long in my garden because it just gets so windy and wowza, the flower bed just kinda went nuts. Um, the plumeria is also a little naked right now. It's, it, it's a plumeria tree that's without any leaves. So it's doing what it's doing. It's still alive. Um, it's got a little new growth here, but we're hoping that it will, I mean, it's still firm. It, it's still okay. So we'll, we're, my mom's kind of hoping it's going to get some new leaves soon. But the Irish bell seeds that I planted back in oh gosh when did I get this trough when I first got this trough I planted these Irish bell seeds that are super cute but they have these leaves that I don't understand 
these leaves. They, these leaves weren't in the picture with these flowers. So I'm wondering if it's just because it's hot and it started growing. My Juliet tomato is, besides this little uh, um, dead piece, I don't know what happened there. It is doing great. We've been making a bunch of bruschetta. As you can see, we've got lots of tomatoes growing. This is my new San Mazzarna. We didn't like the other plant we got, so we went with a different provider, and it's starting to give us some tomatoes, and it's still growing, so all good things. Rosemary, who also has a few garlic, have, um, let's just say she got, she grew some hair, and it, it, it's, it's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to come out and just tr trim it back for drying herbs and all that stuff. The worms are still doing good. They have been just eating and eating and eating and eating. So I currently have some flowers in there after I put, uh, put some juice pulp in there. Um, I did feed the two rosemaries and deadheaded them because, yeah, that needed to happen. One, two, three, four raspberries came up. This one, we're kind of still hoping it's going to come up, but we don't have any, it, there's no signs of life. But all the twigs on the original plants are not growing themselves. It's new growth from the crown. So we might just get rid of those. This here is, um, I've got a, like three of these in this trough. It's a green, it's a Mexican green onion that I just grabbed from the market. One of the things I've just started doing is every time my green onions go dead, I just replant them in the ground and there they go. They're off to the races. We also have Chandler strawberries here in this trough. So we got three or four, five of those, I think. We'll see how, if they make it. Um, blueberry. This is one of the blueberry plants and it's starting to give me some blueberries. We got a few last year but they weren't as sweet as I would have liked them to be. Uh, but yeah, this one just went nuts this year. This blueberry as well as these strawberries. I haven't gotten a single strawberry from them yet but I'm getting a bunch of runners. So I'm kind of hopeful. I haven't even seen a flower yet, but as you can see, we're getting runners like nuts. And I'm just gonna start coming through and plucking all the runners and possibly propagating them to see if I can make some more strawberry plants if we like, like the flavor of the strawberry. It would just be nice if we actually got a strawberry. Um, over here, we've got more chives some garlic over here that has is loving the shade cloth because during the day this does get partially shaded with this cloth um chives have all flowered which i'm glad it's i just let them go to seed i let the flower i let them drop and it comes back every single year i've had no problem with this i this this is probably the only plant besides the rosemary that has stayed in my garden since I got it five years ago. So if nothing else, invest in chives and invest in rosemary. Um, my English time is doing great. Uh, Marjan, again, doing great. Parsley went to seed and flowered. It's still flowering, so I'm just gonna kinda keep trimming it back until fall when I can get some fresh. Do not doing so great, buddy. Now we are at the cucumbers. This is a straight eight cucumber and it just started flowering. Um, this is a heirloom green tomato. I'm assuming they will still turn red, but it's supposed to be a great green fried tomato plant. I haven't seen any flowers yet though and it's not gotten much bigger since I got it in uh, April. This is a baby cucumber plant. I think I have the tag for this one. This one is uh, 
pickle bush cucumber. There we go, so you can see the tag. Again, it's very rare that uh, my tags stay on, and we've got little baby cucumbers. Now this pot has, I think they're snap peas? I think they're snap peas. Not 100% sure, because that pot had nothing in it, and then it started growing beans. So I'm not sure what they are, but that's that. We've got kale here, we've got three kale, and then this is another zucchini, another zucchini, and another zucchini. This one I think is, this is either the yellow or the green zucchini. I got two green and one, one yellow. And these are just seeds, I think they're beets, that I just went and sprinkled and dropped and figured I'd just drop them and they grow where they will. This is the red cayenne pepper that I moved from this trough over to here. And I also have my tomatillo plant. This is the tomatillo. He just start, he's been flowering for a while now and he's got beautiful flowers. They almost look like okra, but we don't eat enough okra in my house to warrant having okra in the garden. Uh, again, red bell pepper. We put the basil here because I read somewhere in a companion gardening that basil is really good for tomatoes and peppers. They make them a little sweeter. This is a jalapeno right there. And we're all just kind of under the shade and enjoying the shade. One of the things I love most about this new trellis system is that as these tomatoes grow up and up and up, that trough is gonna get shaded even more on top of the shade cloth that is there because the kale and the cucumbers and the, uh, the little ground covering seeds that I dropped, they don't really like, the, I find they really don't like the sun and as soon as they go to seed, they get extremely bitter. So I'm very excited for this new structure. It's not perfect yet. It's not quite how I imagined it, but it is getting the job done. And the chocolate mint or spearmint or whatever mint this is, do I still have the tag for it? Peppermint has come back from the dead. So that is doing good. And let's just give you guys one more look just to show you how insane things are. It, it's just, everything is so massive. Um, oh, the thing I wanted to ask you guys about is, I don't know if you can see this right here, but on my sunflower plant, it's got these little droplets. I don't know what they are, but it looks like something a bug left behind. And I've noticed, at least on this plant, there's a lot of freaking little bugs. Here, let's see if we can focus in on them. I think they're aphids. I'm not 100% sure what these are, but they sure as heck are not coming into my house, so this plant will not be coming into the house. All right, thanks guys for watching that update. It was a long one, I know, but it was a much needed update for the channel, myself, and just to keep along with this garden diary. I'm, I'm very proud, I just heard a bee. I don't do well with bees. I love them for the garden, but I don't do well when they're flying around my head. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of it for today, for this month's update. I will see you guys hopefully in January, February, March, April, May, in June when um, hopefully I'll have some more zucchini or maybe at the, maybe when the zucchini comes in, I will show you guys a picture on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, shameless plug, I do have an Instagram where I do post a bunch of pictures of my garden uh, throughout the entire month. Um, it's McKay's Atrium. Just look it up. It's the same name as this channel. Um, anyways, see you guys around. Let me know what you think about those bugs because if they're a problem, I'd like to nip them in the butt now. And I think I might be getting some ladybugs in the mail this month. I'm not 100% sure. I've heard a lot of positive feedback about letting ladybugs into your garden to just eat all the insects.
But I also think birds like ladybugs. And I've had a problem with birds eating my tomatoes, especially the hummingbirds. Um, also, what do you guys think if I got a bird feeder with actual seeds in it, would they go for that or would they still continue to eat all my tomatoes? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I will see you guys later. Have a great May. It's, it's getting better in the world, I think. I hope. Anyways, have a great day, have a great May, and enjoy the rest of your weekend or week or whatever time it is where you're watching this.